Developers may set the entrance effect of a loaded web page, as well as the exit effect. Let's see this in practice in a step-by-step -step process. From Genexus, and in our Event Day Knowledge Base, we select the theme applied, flat. When we double-click on it, we may view the classes defined. We select the form class, where in the properties, we will see that the properties to be configured to define transitions are under the enter slash exit effect node. Note specifically the enter effect name and exit effect name properties. Possible values are fade, push up, push down, push left, push right, and none. The default value is fade. Transitions take place in either one of two instances. In navigating from page A to another page B, where the navigation may be done using the call or link commands. And in creating a web component B in a control in which another web component A has been previously created. Effects apply as follows. The effect indicated in property exit effect associated with the form class of page A will apply upon closing page A. And the effect indicated in property enter effect associated with the form class of page B will apply upon loading page B. Let's see this at runtime. We press F5 and select the sessions and speakers option. Now let's select the pivot table option. Now let's get back to Genexus to change the transition effect. We'll select the push up option as enter effect. We will now execute the rebuild all action to generate the programs, taking into consideration the new settings of the properties. So we press F5 again, and select Sessions and Speakers again, and we note the new transition effect between pages.